So much more Barbie Loves the Ocean fun coming up after this. Two more awesome Barbie Loves the Ocean sets. We have this lounge chair, they call it Beach Day. There's also another one of these sets that pretty much comes with everything that's the same, except you get a new different doll. I don't know how you're supposed to get that set. I don't know where it's gonna be available. I really need to get it. You can't hurt by having two umbrellas and two lounge chairs though. That's perfect because, you know, nobody lounges by themselves. I mean, I do, but... And then we have this beach volleyball set. You never know who you're gonna meet. You might wanna one day lounge with someone. At the end of this video, I'll show you an overview of the complete collection. I mean, besides that special set that we don't know when or how or where it's going to be available. Can I put on my glasses and say, this is made from recycled ocean-bound plastic. Fabric made from recycled plastic. Recyclable packaging. Love that. And then you can go to the Barbie website and find all about this stuff. You can scan this QR code, but I don't know if that works on your computer screen. I recommend getting the dolls. I recommend getting these play sets. I love the colors so much. I'm not sure if this is what the special Malibu Barbie releases are supposed to be. This could be the anniversary sets for Malibu Barbie, or maybe we'll get separate sets. I just know I love them, and I love the packaging, and I love how they're packaged. I love these paper bags that they're putting the stuff in. This one is sealed. I prefer they didn't seal them, but that's a good idea, because then I could totally use this paper bag again. Let me see if I can break it open. Oh yeah, I can pull it apart. Oh, it kind of ripped. It's kind of like a wax paper. Yeah, it ripped. I'm gonna dump out all the accessories. I guess I'll do them one at a time so I don't forget or leave out any of the accessories. The colors of this plastic is just, it blows my mind. It makes me so happy. I don't see an instruction sheet with this set, which is a shame just because I want to save them. This is the Beat Shacks instruction sheet. See, this is why I was hoping for one. So I'd have this collectible piece of art that I love. I love the packaging. I'm not sure if the colors of this were part of design or part of the properties of recycled plastic, but I know from my experience that I love the colors that are made with recycled plastics. I'm just gonna snap this all together and build it. The stands are the same. They have starfish on them, which is cute. That's snapped all the way down. Maybe I have to push it extra hard. Oh yeah. You have to push that on real hard to get the posts on. I would do that first. So here's the net. It's so nice. It looks so big. Wow. Wow. Wowie wow wow. And then we have this cooler, which is in total Coleman colors. Oh, we have some ice in there. It's packed up. It's hollow on the bottom. You can see the ice there blue, orange, complementary colors. They're just these off 70s, awesome, retro, beautiful, love it. The wheels aren't functioning, but that's okay. You can just drag it across the ground. I don't mind that at all. I love this design. I love that it's this Malibu. I love the font, love the colors. It looks so great. We have this very light blue water canister, drink canister. Cute. We have this volleyball in turquoise. 
nice complimentary primary color kind of thing going on here. We have a hollow boom box. Slate is going to love this boom box. It doesn't seem to be branded with Barbie, which is nice. It's in purple. It's retro, yet it looks like it has a place to put your cell phone in there. So cool. Love that. It's a facade. Oh, we do have a place to put the drinks. This is cool that the drink isn't one of the ones that have the weird bottom part. It's just a real drink. But there is a place to plug your drinks in. And for the first time, it looks legit though, because coolers would have built-in little cup holders like that. So I'm down. And then we have bananas. We got some bananas with the beet shack, but I love bananas. Probably my favorite food. I've been avoiding them. I'm gonna stop avoiding them, I think. I'm afraid of eating sugar all the time. And then we have a lotion bottle. It could be chocolate syrup, though. Can we pretend it's chocolate syrup? It's in the studio, speaking of sugar, and it's number three. That's not enough SPF. But it's a cute little bottle, and it also doesn't have a little stand thing, which I like this. I like when it, they don't have those things. It makes things look more realistic and definitely better for Instagram photos. We have two really awesome generic outfit pieces. These sunglasses, uh, they're aviators. This is the kind of sunglass, if I was ever to wear sunglasses, this is the type that I like to wear, but I don't like to wear sunglasses. I don't want weird tan lines. And I love the sun in my face because I want the summer to last as long as I possibly can have it. And I appreciate it and I love the sun. I love the sun in my face and in my eyes. Yeah, those are awesome. I love the color. And then this visor is awesome. We're going to have to try those on at the end of the video. Please, I hope I remember. And then we have a Malibu towel. And it looks super, like, news broadcasty. But I like it. I wonder if I can try on this visor. That's harder to do. It keeps slipping in my finger. The plastic is so nice and shiny. I guess you can kind of get the gist. You can't see my eyes if I wear it properly. Yeah, is that everything? That's enough. Oh, it's so good. You can even pack this stuff up. The fact that it comes with accessory pieces to wear is awesome. And then, let's see if I can... <clears throat> Do you think, uh, can I volley this? Serve it? Oh, kinda did it. Gotta get it over the net at least once. Oh. Oh. You can act out all of your Top Gun fantasies with this. Okay, next is this lounge chair. I always rip the packaging when I'm opening it, and I don't want to. Am I really going to save this packaging? I don't know. I want to. It's beautiful. Did I show you an up close? Those are all the things we're getting. We're getting more sunglasses. That's great. Wow. So retro awesome. The Sunset Malibu. It must be the name of the club. Let me put this stuff to the back so I don't mix it up. They keep changing the styles of stuff. You have to let me know if you got the different styles. It says we're supposed to get those round, circular, very 70s glasses. But the thing is, I love aviator glasses so much more, so I am so happy that I got these instead. It's reminding me of how much I love those Dollar Tree accessory packs. It's very much like that. I love this cardboard packaging and how it's in here. I hope I showed you that. I might not have done it. So good, just so excited. I love how the packaging is designed. I love how it's designed to fit everything in. I love how it's displayed. I could have hung the way that this is packaged on my wall as a piece of art. Maybe I'm gonna buy doubles and do that. Even that's beautiful for me. No instructions again with this set, but we have this. We have a similar base. It's got starfish on it. That's cute. This plugs into here, snaps into place, extra hard. The umbrella is made with real material, recycled material. 
apparently, from what the box says. We get the suntan lotion in the same color. We get a starfish mold for playing in the sand. You could probably use it with your kinetic sand or the real sand if you take this to the beach. I showed you these amazing purple aviators. So happy I got those instead of the other ones. We got this pail and shovel and my favorite combination, seafoam and dusty rose, sick colors. We have another one of these drinks that I believe is the same as, nope, it's a different drink than we got from the beach shack. So we have a different tropical drink with one of those curvy straws. I had those curvy straws in the 80s. We have a spade, just this little, clam digging shovel, adorable. And we have a cell phone and it's a nice big one. I like it. And then we have to put together this chair. This color yellow is incredible. I have a shirt that color that I love and there are no instructions. So I kind of have to figure out, is there a front and a back? You know what, it's probably only gonna fit into the handles of the chair in one way. Still, the steeper slope goes forward, I believe. There's a lot of snapping and you have to snap in this part. I wonder if it's foldable. And then, I don't think it's gonna be foldable. Snap those parts in, snap this part in. I don't know, I think it's funny that there aren't instructions. Hopefully if you guys need instructions, you have come here for that purpose, and I'm helping you out. Like I said, the bigger slope I have going that way because that's what it appears to be in the photograph. Then you can take the extension piece, hook that onto here, and you will attach this hook onto here. Oops, nope, you put it on the inside and you hook it onto here. So I guess that is somewhat adjustable could fold it up like this to get it out of the way but I love it it looks so realistic and these cup holders again I don't mind them because it makes sense to have them seems like this lag is going to fall off a lot so don't put too much pressure on the bottom there this is what the chair looks like in primer colors red blue and yellow in and they're in these off weird 70s recycled plastic colors that I love. When was this chair designed? Is this new for this set? 2020, it's new for this set. You can see the detail on it. It's this Malibu on it. The texture, it's beautiful. Let me put the drink into the cup holder here, lounging, the shades. Oh my goodness, this stuff is so awesome. Well, I don't think I showed you the beach towel. Oh, everything's falling. <laughs> Complimentary colors, yellow and purple for these two sets. Love that. If you like these sets, are you gonna get these sets? Let me know down below. I'm gonna try stuff on. I'm gonna show you all of the whole collection without that one special set, which I don't know, still don't know where we're gonna get it at. But stay tuned to the end and see everything. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Happy surfing. Oh yeah, let's bring it all in. Let me take everything off the bar and just throw it onto here. Apparently this is the only thing that's not recycled. I should have read the package to see if any of the pieces in these other sets aren't made from recycled plastic. Plastic parts are made from 90% plastic sourced within 50 kilometers of waterways and areas lacking waste systems. It says just that on the back. Beach lantern excluded is what it says on this one piece and it doesn't say that on this and it doesn't say anything's excluded on the lounge set either so the two sets that we opened today nothing is excluded just this and this feels like the same plastic so I don't know maybe it's just not made of a hundred percent recycled plastic 90% recycled plastic look at this stuff and then we have the three dolls and there's the fourth doll that comes with this set this chair 
well, the whole set, it seems to be the same colors and everything, but I don't know, maybe the colors will change or the pieces will change because apparently that has happened in some of these sets. These are so awesome. These are the big pieces of furniture. I take out the big pieces and show you all of these. Oh no, I lost something. I lost the drink inside of my Masters of the WWE Universe. They were gonna drink up all the Barbie stuff. I bet you they would look good. Mr. T was around in the 70s. I bet he would look good with some of this stuff. Look at this stuff. Oh no, it's that one drink. The WWE guys are thirsty, I guess. It's one drink. Keep falling. There. Look at all of this cute, colorful accessory fun with the sunglasses. I did promise you that I was gonna try these things on. Let's use everyone's favorite. Oh no, her hair. Careful not to mess up her hair. I can't get it on without messing up her hair. Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna pull out her hair just to put this visor on her? I'm doing it, trying to do it gently. Hopefully this fits on the Ken doll. <laughs> I'm trying not to pull out her pigtails. Here, let's go over. Let's try this girl. She's wearing blue. It looks good. It, she does look like she's working at a fast food restaurant though. Let's try on some of these aviator sunglasses. I'm gonna have to do a special Ken video trying on these things too. Where are those other yellow ones? She's gonna look good with the yellow ones with her skin color. And it's gonna bring out that pop of yellow that she has on in her outfit. Oh yeah, I'm loving those so so cool.